Revelation 3271. From the 27th of September 1944. Power Supply, Opening Up, Spiritual Friends. You must open yourselves to every emanation of strength which touches you from the spiritual kingdom by always and constantly mustering the will to make contact with the spiritual forces by consciously immersing yourselves in spiritual questions. This can happen through prayer for spiritual maturing, through a thought turned towards God for right will and right knowledge through asking for guidance and help in all earthly matters and through prolonged dwelling in spiritual thoughts or inner introspection. By doing so you always give your spiritual friends the opportunity to take possession of your thoughts, and this always signifies an influx of spiritual strength. As long as you consciously go through earthly life that it is given to you for a spiritual purpose, you will never be abandoned by spiritual forces and then they can also constantly transfer the emanation of strength from God to you, and you will mature in your soul. You will increase in knowledge which corresponds to truth, your way of life will correspond to God's will because you receive the strength to carry out what his will dictates to you. And as long as you maintain this connection with spiritual forces you will only be able to record spiritual progress for love impels the beings of light to give you what they possess in abundance, and through their gifts you must mature. Every thought turned towards good is an expression of these beings of light which you therefore mentally receive, it is strength from God which impels you to work of love and which must also ennoble you if you follow the thoughts arising in you, that is if you let the now stimulated will become action and also for the execution of the deed the strength flows to you from God as soon as you open yourselves to it, thus consciously request it through prayer. And this process of emanating strength from God will continue as long as the human being maintains the connection with the spiritual kingdom, thus he is willing to let himself be guided by spiritual forces even if he interrupts his conscious thinking of spiritual questions in the fulfillment of earthly tasks. For the beings of light know about the human being's will, and as long as it is not turned away from them by worldly desires or obvious connection with God opposing forces, by sinful actions or thinking, they do not leave the human being and also guide him earthly to right thinking and actions for they have been instructed by God to help struggling human children, and their own love also drives them to their work of help, and since they are constantly recipients of strength they also hand it out as soon as it is merely desired. And therefore the human being should constantly request strength from God, he should believe that he cannot master anything without it, for you humans are weak unless help is granted to you from above. But God does not leave you alone in your weakness but provides you with beings of light for your lifetime which shall and can support you in your spiritual striving, as soon as you open yourselves, as soon as you give them the opportunity to influence you, and as soon as you consciously surrender your will to those who guide it in the right direction, because you are willing to do good, because your will strives towards God. This is not an interference with your free will but you must turn it towards God yourselves, only then can the beings of light be active on you. And as soon as you desire strength and help you will also open yourselves to the influx from the spiritual kingdom and you will be richly endowed by divine strength. And therefore often linger in prayer, send appealing thoughts into the spiritual kingdom thereby enter into contact with it and its inhabitants, and then trust that you will think and act correctly, for your spiritual friends will protect and look after you and not abandon you. They are always around you and carry out God's mission for their own happiness. To convey his strength to every willing earthly child who desires this strength. Amen.